All right, so today we have the Nostalgia Retro Coffee Maker. And my wife is a big fan of this Nostalgia brand. You can see it has this, we call it tea, and like the old school metal looking look to it. It's pretty fresh, it does not make donuts, in case you're wondering. It brews up to 12 cups of coffee, it has an LED to read it. You can pause and serve, that means you can take the carafe out and pour yourself a cup of coffee and it will not just pour coffee everywhere while you're brewing it. A 12 hour clock, automatic shut off after two hours, water reservoir level markings, and a reusable filter, which I like that a lot. We currently have this Keurig Duo and it worked pretty good in theory, because I do like K-cups and then it makes you know a regular pot of coffee, but this one leaks everywhere all the time. And you had to buy their filter separate. So it's good packaging, you can see the craft is not only in this cardboard box, but it has bubble wrap and it comes with this little uh, scooper to measure your coffee out. And also it's big enough that I can put my hand in here to clean it. And there's the cup markings inside, pretty neat. And it's a cool little craft, it's not heavy. I have a large hand, you know, so it still fits. So if you had a small hand, like my wife or my friend Tony has really small hands, he can still handle this just fine. And here's the main event. It's very light. This little plastic wrap to protect the top up here. This is where the water would come out, of course. Here is the filter, which I like that. This whole thing comes out. Hopefully it's dishwasher safe. You can see down there. And just have a little handle there so you can pick that up. This one, of course, doesn't do K-cups. It just does a full pot of coffee. I know a lot of people hate K-cups, but I like them. I like the convenience. Uh, so we switched to using these little coffee packs, this little sinful nut. It just, this is like a whole pot. So you pour it in there, it's already measured for you, so you don't have to use this thing. But I do sometimes buy other coffee, so it's nice to have this little thing. All right, so you got a power button, program button. Let's say you can know it was set to auto, you can set your time for it, and then the brewing. And then there's this little uh, pot guy. You pour the water down back there, see that little tube? Comes up that tube and then comes out those little holes and it will shower wash your coffee in there. So that's pretty neat. This is the little retro series logo. And then it does say nostalgia right there. We also have the toaster oven, which has worked out pretty great. We've used it several times. We haven't used the convection function, but they didn't originally send this one and they sent it like next day air, I think. We just contacted them. This wasn't included in the box. It was supposed to be and they sent it just fine, so. Customer service wise, we've been really happy with it because we bought it from Amazon, but then contacted them for service and they fix it right away. And we also have the microwave next to our, we're gonna put the coffee pot over here, but you can see it's the same design and it's a nice little microwave. We haven't had any problems with it and it looks pretty cool. So here is the Keurig next to it. You can see the Nostalgia one's a lot taller, but it's much more compressed since this obviously has the two features. So you're basically shaving off the Keurig side. And then back here, there's a little hole that you could tuck in excess wire to. So that's a, a nice little touch there, right? And it's just a two pronger instead of a three pronger in case. Like we live in an older house and a lot of ours aren't three prongers. So that's pretty good. My wife absolutely loves this thing. She likes how the, the black touch here it pops with this one here. Because the microwave doesn't have any black on it. The toaster has a little bit of black, but this one doesn't. So. It really looks good. I don't know how much that's going to come across in camera, but it's a striking piece. The pictures in the box don't do it justice. In person, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yeah, we're big fans. And now I do like K-Cups, so and my wife doesn't drink as much coffee as I do. I drink black coffee every morning, and sometimes she wants, sometimes she doesn't. If she doesn't, then I don't normally make a full pot, uh, so I do like having a K-Cup. So I did buy a little tiny Keurig to try to match this. So here's the Keurig. It's pretty close. I mean, it's obviously it's a different company, so it's pretty similar in color. It's not an exact match. It is odd that I just opened this out of the box and there's like this little brown mark. I don't know what that's all about. Hopefully nobody shit on my coffee maker. That's from Amazon. <laughs> there's, uh, you know, all this tape. All this stuff is taped down. There was no fancy box. It was just in a brown box. But it said Ed Keurig marking on it, but it was not like a, a fancy store box. It's a mini, so we can see the K-cup goes in there. This little blade pops the top of the K-cup and then catches it in case you spill something or if you don't have your cup in place. And around the back side, it's a really nice little attached way for the cord to fit in there. Now this one is a three-pronger, which is weird that this full-size coffee maker doesn't have a three-pronger and this one does. And that cord also tucks in there, so. And this one, the older styles of these, you would just pour the water like right in there, I think, but this one has like a little reservoir back here, so. 
And it actually marks it, which I like. The old ones didn't do that, I don't believe. They just had like a hole that you just pour water into. This one actually tells you how much. Because sometimes I do like a larger, like I'm sure it's terrible for the environment, but I like drinking all these disposable cups a lot, especially if I'm gonna go somewhere. And these are much larger than an eight, you know, if I'm making a cup of coffee at home, I'll just use the eight ounces, but then if it gets all the way up to the 12, you know, if I'm gonna drink one of these, I'll put 12 ounces in it. So. I think they complement each other perfectly because this is more of a matte finish and this is very, very shiny. I think it's perfect. Yeah. I'm really excited. I like it a lot. I'm excited. I like it a thousand times better. <laughs> yeah, it's way better than I'm this so one. I'm so excited. It adds some color to the kitchen. Yeah, my wife's favorite <laughs> color. <laughs> The two of these together are going to be bigger than this, I think. This is exactly the same size, so the Keurig on the side is the same as this little adapter here. So worth it to have yeah. <laughs> We don't have a lot of kitchen space, so the big one piece is going to cause a... So we're going to have the coffee maker here and then the little tiny Keurig over here. I'll show you in a minute and that will free up. Even though they're both combined bigger than that one, side by side they're gonna be bigger they're not one big chunk so we can fit it in here a lot better and it will free up some space over here and of course my wife just loves it so <laughs> all right so we'll get it all set up and then i'll show you how they look side by side again the video is just about this guy but just for reference we're also going to use this one and it does come with a manual that tells you all the various features, right? And like I said, it, we've had an excellent experience with this. The products, we've had the microwave for a long time. We just got the oven, but the customer service was excellent. And then, you know, I have high hopes for this one. All right, let me get it all set up. All right, so we got her set up over here. So you can see how much more spacious it looks now. We got room to put some stuff behind there, like a wine bottle or, you know, whatever, what have you. And the clock. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera, but... But the clock looks really good. Set the time, you set this pro button, and then you can just cycle through. The buttons have a nice solid, they don't feel cheap or anything like that. A very well made product. Alright, so now the time is set. So yeah, I mean, we're happy with it. We'll make a pot of coffee tomorrow morning, I guess, and I'll try to add on to the film in there. But it really opened up this little section for us. Cord is not long enough to plug into where our outlet is, so I'll just have to push this one back and use this one while I do it. So it is a good thing the cord can retract here. Also, this water reservoir does not come out. I looked in the menu here, as expected. It doesn't say anything about being dishwasher safe, so I'm assuming it's not dishwasher safe. I mean, I assume this would never be, but sometimes the upper pieces could be. But it just says hand wash them. So you can see the 12 here to let you know how much water you need. There's a little steps there, so you can determine how much coffee you want, right? I'm just gonna hit power. I don't know. I didn't read the directions, but yeah, just hit power and it starts brewing. Uh, I'm gonna set it auto tonight before, so we have a brewing in the morning, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've washed this guy out. And I clean this out. I'm just gonna run a couple of cycles of hot water through it, or just clean water through it, of course, just to make sure it's not gross. Sometimes a new coffee maker will have like a plastic taste to it. All right, so at this point, it appears to be done. This red light stays on. I guess that's because it's staying warm down here. I mean, it's definitely not brewing anymore. It was making. It didn't get too loud. This part is warm. This part here is not. And this bottom part is not. Obviously, the crap is hot. The handle is not. All this stuff is pretty much cool to the touch. This top lid is super hot, but the rest of it is perfectly fine to touch. So, all right, I just ran some water just to clean out this function, and now I will, before I go to bed, I will program it to auto brew in the morning, and then see that will come on at the desired time. I think the red light stays on. Let you know it's my dogs are running around. The red light stays on, let you know it's hot. And if you turn this, I don't know why that turns green to programming, I guess. But then if you hit it again and both lights go off, and at this point, I assume that the heat won't stay there. Like, it's supposed to stay warm for two hours. I assume if you hit that button twice, it will no longer stay warm. All right, so I got my water, I got my coffee, my kind of clips into place. All right, so it says for. The brewing delay just to go steps one through four so fill the coffee up coffee filter place the crown close the door four says press the power button and then down here it says set the time press the pro button and the word timer should show up in the upper, upper left corner so we're gonna hit the power button and then the program button and then i can change the time i'm gonna put it for 8 20 to 8 25 and then press the power button twice. So this green light tells me that it's gonna go off at eight. Eight, what, whatever the time I have it set for. All right, so let's check it in the morning. It worked as expected. The auto went off it and coffee. We're very happy with this. There's no problems. Well, I should pour coffee, make sure it's not gonna leak. No spills. Thumbs up.
All right, so we've had the coffee maker almost a week now. We use it every single day. I use the auto function every day. It's worked great. There's no spilling. There's no mess over here. Like the old, if you look in the early part of the video, you can see there's like little stains on the countertop. That old coffee pot would spill all the time. This one doesn't spill at all. It, you know, brewed coffee just fine. Then we've had no issues. I will say, I don't really care for the reusable filter. It's kind of a pain in the ass to clean. So I might go ahead and buy disposable ones just because it's annoying dumping the coffee out of that filter every day and having to wash that out but the coffee pot itself you know we're a big fan of the look of it and you know it doesn't spill it doesn't leak it's it's just been great we have lots of their products like here's the water pot that we like as well or the water kettle anyhow the coffee maker gets the big thumbs up we're a big fan of it i'm also excited to put the keurig somewhere else on the other countertop and so basically we just have the water pot and the coffee here and so like in the morning i just push the kettle back and since this coffee pot's so light, you just pull it out. And then once I'm done with coffee for the day, it scoops right on back. And then the water comes out. It's nice and light, and it's made our cabinet area here a lot more spacious. So I'm a big fan of these purchases, and I highly recommend them. All right, thanks.